Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to show you that what are the types of errors in Rust and how you can use them in practice. So let's go to the screen and I will show you there. As you can see here that I'm currently present in this Visual Studio code. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to create a new package and let's uh, write cargo new and then the package name is going to be errors. Okay. So yeah, uh, after that, let's go to the main.rs file and inside this, let's uh, close this zoom in like this and now it will be fine. Let's uh, decrease the size of it a little bit. Yeah. So now the first thing that I'm going to do is to remove this and write like uh, Rust provide two kind of errors. The first one is the unrecoverable errors. Unrecoverable uh, errors. So these are those errors that uh, uh, that it may uh, crash and give unexpected error, unexpected error messages. Okay, errors. But there is another errors uh, that is basically the recoverable errors in which it, it may not crash, um, crash, but give the defined error messages, defined errors. So yeah, these are the two kind of errors that are present in Rust in which the first one will basically uh, crash the program and give the unexpected errors. Let's say if you are accessing some kind of data in an array that even does not even exist. But uh, in the case of recoverable errors, let's say if uh, you want to create a file or you want to open a file, but that file is not opening. It means that if the file is not opening, it does not exist. So either both of the conditions are present, like the file is uh, will be opened, but if the file is not opened, it is not exist. So these are the two conditions and that can be handled with the recoverable error. So in which the program will not crash, but it will give the defined errors so that whether the file is present or whether the file is not present. But in the case of unrecoverable errors, it will, uh, uh, the example is this, that it will uh, access the data, even if the data is not exist. Uh, and as a result, it will give the un uh, unexpected error. So let's take an example of this uh, from the unrecoverable errors. First of all, let's create a file. Uh, sorry, let's create a function. And inside this function, this is for the unrecoverable errors. Okay. Un uh, recoverable errors unrecoverable errors so yeah let's write a file data a function data and inside this function what i'm going to do i will write vector and uh, that vector will take like contain like few numbers and after that i will print the data like uh, data with a proper index that index is going to be let's say four so now if I calculate this, you will see that this is starting from zero. The index is starting from zero, zero, one, two, three. So the index is three, but the data uh, index is showing me four. So it will obviously give me the error. So if I go to this error directory and write cargo run, now you can see here that index of out of bonds, the length is four, as you can see here, the length is four from one to four, but the index is four. So why the index is four? But because the index should be three, because zero, one, two, three. So the index should be three, but the length is four. So that's the thing that it is saying to me that the bond, the length is four, but the index should be three, but the, and now the index is four. That's the error that uh, I need to remove it. But now if I remove this from uh, index 4 to 3 then it will give me the message correctly that this is the fourth uh, number that it has printed in front of me so yeah this is basically the unrecoverable error in, st in which if I write any kind of data in it it will give me the unexpected message or the uh, message that I was not expecting and uh, as a result um, this will be an unrecoverable error and you can define this error by using the like uh, by using the panic keyword also right by using the panic keyword also so yeah this can uh, this error can also be defined by using the panic keyword and in the upcoming uh, like uh, 
time like uh, later on in this video i will show you that how you can use this panic keyword but for now on this is also the uh, unrecoverable error that how uh, you can get the uh, data that is not even present now let's take a look at the recoverable um, like uh, the recoverable error so recoverable error so the recoverable error are basically let's take create a function first of all let's uh, comment this so that it does not create give me an error message again so yeah now the recoverable error will basically be working with two uh, with one uh, with the syntax that is basically result inside the result there will be two things the first one is going to be the true statement and the second one is going to be the error statement okay so yeah whether the statement is going to be true or whether that is error so if there is an error then that error can be defined so this is the syntax of it okay so yeah but that syntax can be defined also even if it is not defined it will still work but first of all i will not define this uh, syntax instead i will just use this without using this uh, syntax and i will use it with the help of match statement so yeah how this will work first of all let's write uh, what you can see here um, create a file so let file is equal to um, what you can see here file and then open okay so open and then um, uh, instead of writing open let me just write it like create that would be or uh, that would be simple so create data txt okay so data txt and inside this data txt or oh, there would be two there will be two kind of uh, conditions whether the file is going to be created or whether the file is not going to be created so now let's write match statement and inside this match statement that is match statement relevant to the file that is going to be created so now the first one is going to be okay statement and the second one is going to be the error statement that whether the file is okay or it is created so i will write the statement like file is mm, created successfully okay this is the okay statement now the second one is that file is not created these are the two statements now here is a cache that i need to i can give the message here uh, relevant to the okay like i can write the file name okay and or i can write the error message also error that i'm going to be writing here like this it will still work uh, like uh, let me just write colon question mark error and this time it will work now after that the first thing uh, like what i need to do i need to write file name okay now let's me just write like this cargo run now you can see here that it is demanding me to use this uh, what you can see here uh, this crat also in order to uh, make it work now if i clear this and run it again you will see here the file is created successfully and this is the file whole path that it has given to me the read is false because there is nothing to be read but the write is true because the file is created as you can see here the data uh, uh, data is not having any kind of data to, uh, .txt file is not having any kind of data but it has created successfully so this is how the uh, recoverable error will work in which you will be getting the uh, uh, like the expected error like if the data is a file is not created then it will give me this message but if the file is created then it will give me this success message so this is what the recoverable error is so now let's define the recoverable error a basic syntax that the result and t and e or what you can say here any kind of um, success or failure message so yeah let's write another function and inside this function uh, first of all i will not create this function instead i will write another function divide okay so inside this divide there will be two parameters a for i32 and b is also going to be i32 because they are going to be divided with each other after that this is the result and inside this result there are going to be two statements 
either the statement is true the first statement is also go always going to be true so the uh, like this is the first statement 32 i32 and the second statement is false that is string so what does it mean so basically it means that the first statement is always going to be third either or true that is basically if i divide it a with b then it will give me some kind of result in an integer so that integer is going to be true okay so if both of these numbers are divided so as a result it will give me the data in an integer and that integer is going to be true that's why i have written it here now if the data is not divided with each other or if the divide, uh, data is divided by zero then it will give me the message the error message that will be in the string so i hope you understood so yeah the first one is going to be true and the second one is going to be always false so yeah now let's take a look that how it will work so now let uh, write f b is equal to zero then it means that the b is equal to 0 the a cannot be divided by 0 so if the a cannot be divided by 0 then i have to pick the uh, like string message that is basically the error message so i will write error, uh, what you can see here error so that is going to be the error message and inside this error message which i will I, what i will write like cannot be mm, cannot be divided divided by zero so yeah this is how it will work to string okay so yeah it is showing me that this is a string message and this string message is basically picking the error and that's why i have written the error message at first that if the number is not uh, is not divided by zero after that if the number is, if there is another number then it will be divided by zero so in order to make it divisible i will write okay and inside this okay just like i have written the okay and error here you can see here that i have mentioned the error at first and now uh, after that i mean i'm going to mention the uh, okay statement at the end because after zero if all of the conditions are given if all of the numbers are given then that number uh, can be divided but the zero should not be allowed okay now let's write a divided by b so now if any of the number uh, except zero is given then they will be divided by uh, that number and it uh, that number will give me the success message of i32 so this okay is giving uh, is printing the result of uh, in the i32 so yeah this is the division uh, statement uh, division function now let's call this inside this or what you can say here main function and i will write let result is equal to divide and inside this divide i will write i 10 2 is uh, what you can say is the b okay so now the 2 is uh, at the b and the a is basically um, 10 okay a is basically 10 so yeah these are the two parameters and the result is basically this result that let's see that which result is going to be working whether this result is the i 32 that is a success message or the failure so let's take a look now in order to print the in order to make this result work these are the two conditions whether the condition is the i32 or the success or the whether the condition is false so in order to make this condition work in in the main uh, function i need to write the match so result match now result match after that i will write the okay statement and after that i will write the error statement okay so here i have defined the error okay separately because they are dealing with these num these numbers but here i am dealing with this uh, result that whether the result is giving me the okay statement or whether the result is giving me the error message so i will write a uh, value and i will write the error okay so in order to print the value that value is going to be i32 and that uh, and it will give me this result and after that if the, there is an error message then that error message is going to be the string message and that string message is basically this one okay so now let's write print line uh, number is divided numbers are divided numbers are divided like this okay so now which uh, which one is that number uh, numbers are divided 
and here result is this numbers are divided and here is the result here is the result and what you can see here um, uh, value so the result is basically that value that I'm getting comma and after that print line and that print line will give me the message here that error so that error is going to be anything so that error is basically this one cannot be divided by zero okay error yep so yeah in this case i have written the message here and not the message here because that message is written here and it will only give me the value that is this one and uh, in this case in the print me error message I have written like uh, uh, the message already but it will only give me this error message error uh, colon and then this message will be printed so yeah now let's take a look that how whether it works or not you can see here the numbers are divided and here is the result you can see here two fives are ten now if I write it zero so now the number is not divisible by zero so i what it will get it will give me the message here error cannot be divided by zero here is the error message and there's the message that is written in string cannot be divided by zero and here you can see here that this is the error message that is printed in one line what if i change this to rec unrecoverable error so here you can see here if i go here unrecoverable error is basically to be mentioned with panic so you can see here I can simply this uh, write copy this panic and write it here instead of writing the print statement I will write the panic so if the value is given properly then it will be divided and it will give me the result but if the value is not divided then it will give me the panic and here is the panic uh, message that will be in front of me so yeah you can see here now the error message is properly shown to me that it the main is panicked at this line in which line 39 line you can see here line 39 and after that cannot be divided by zero here is the uh, what you can see unexpected error that I changed to expected error by using panic and after that the uh, run with this uh, environment variable to display a big trace. So yeah, you can use it uh, to debug it, but I'm not going to cover this one. But yeah, you got the idea that how you can use the uh, unrecoverable error, that is basically panic in the uh, recoverable error um, like messages so that it will be shown to you in a proper way. So yeah, so I hope you understood from these two points that how the uh, recoverable error and the unrecoverable errors are working and the recoverable errors are simple but it can be defined by using panic also uh, if you want to in the recoverable uh, error messages okay and yeah and the inside the recoverable error there are two things the first one is also going to be is always going to be true the second thing is also always going to be false so i have written the false statement at first and then i move to the uh, uh, first statement so they, that return the this l statement return the i32 and this s string stay return the uh, this um, this one okay so yeah after that i put the condition and result in order to make the okay and error message work and yeah this is the result in front of me so yeah i hope you like this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye